Hello, my name is Sam. I'm from usephotoshop.com, a free tutorial, template, and photo resource. In this video, I'm going to help you understand the Magic Eraser tool in Adobe Photoshop. I'm running the most current version at this time, Photoshop S5. If you don't already have an image open, go to File, Open, or use the keyboard shortcut, Control, and the letter O on your keyboard to open an existing photo from your hard drive. I'm using this lovely picture of a zebra here. We'll need a couple windows open to use this tool. We'll open those by going to Window, and first we'll open the Layers window, or the Layers palette, by clicking on Layers, or we can use the keyboard shortcut F7, and we will see the Layers window, or the Layers palette, open. We also need the Tools window, which we can get by going to Window, Tools, and you will see the Tools window appear. The Magic Eraser tool is located sixth from the top on the left hand side. It may be hiding behind the Eraser tool, the Background Eraser tool. It's the one right at the bottom, the Magic Eraser tool. If it's hiding behind either of these two, simply left click on that icon you will see that menu appear when you hold down with your mouse and you can select the magic eraser tool the keyboard shortcut is E meaning if I'm using another tool and I want to use the magic eraser tool simply by hitting the letter E on my keyboard I will be taken back to that tool let me show you how it works this is a fairly basic tool in Photoshop but it's very, very useful, and I use it quite a bit. There are a few options up here which we can change, the main one being the tolerance. The tolerance will select how many pixels uh, within a specified color range are being selected. For example, if I have the tolerance set low, that's say four, if I were to click up here in this somewhat dark area of the photograph, only a small amount of pixels will be selected because it's only um, selecting pixels within a variance of four. I'll undo that and I can raise up the tolerance. Um, I find normally about 30 is good and now when I click on the background you will see that most of the background is taken away because there was a much higher tolerance and there were still some dark areas on the edges that uh, it didn't get, but we can get those easily by just clicking on them, and they will disappear. And there's an area right up there, and you will see it's left uh, a few marks behind, which we can get rid of by just using the eraser tool and going over those problem areas if there is any. So there's a quick overview of the Magic Eraser tool in Adobe Photoshop CS5. I'm Sam from usephotoshop.com.